Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. And on my mini-map, I see that there is an Assassin's Tomb. That is really good, actually. Okay, so every time I keep going to this area where that codex page is, it's been unavailable, like that area's been unavailable. So hopefully it is available now, because if it is, we're gonna get that codex page, and we're gonna go get the Assassin's Tomb. But first, we'll see Leonardo. Ah, Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? <laughs> of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. Uh -huh. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's build it and find out. And there's that gun that I was talking about a couple episodes ago. That you probably don't remember me saying. Press RB to access the weapon wheel and select your pistol. Ooh. This is gonna be so fun. Hey guys, we're gonna freak out. Oh, I forgot you have to hold down. This is so fun. <laughs> Everybody's probably like, what is going on? You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarigo. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at a, a mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <coughs> in a way. Yes, Sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. It's gonna be like Corvo's mask from Dishonored. Ooh. Oh, a very nice mask. That would actually blow my mind if they actually had Corvo's mask. That would look amazing. Just like a little Easter egg or something. Only the height of the Smithia. Oh yeah, we got some fancy new bracers. <laughs> oh wow. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most, uh, <coughs> talented man in all You know who he kind of looks like? He kind of looks like that guy from Tombstone. Uh, I'll, I'll pull up a picture. Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! But 
Sir, he sliced Lucia and stole so, her money. So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him. Uh-oh. Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Uh, this calls for the gun. Who the hell are you? Get away from me! Clear shot. Another one's blood will be on your hands. <laughs> What's going on? Did anybody witness the killing? Nope. <laughs> well, that was pretty fun using our gun. I could have saved some of those ladies, but oh well. Gratitude, Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Ooh, I'm gonna play some carnival games. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but... Why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church but disillusioned by the believers of the city. Oh God, only as an idea in their heads, not in the depth of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may have tradition, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. This is one heck of a carnival. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. All right, let's see what we have to do. Signori, signori! This may be the easiest... Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. 
Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Let's do it. Let's get that number one. Lovely this afternoon. <laughs> Mind if I join you? Come, friend, you are. Could I trouble you for a ribbon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. Awesome. Easy. All right. Wow, do we have to do the other game right there and over there? Holy cow, why are they so spread apart? I'll do this one. As well as get this viewpoint. of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. You get to beat people up in this game? Like in this, uh, well, in this whole game, yeah, you get to beat people up, but in this carnival game, you get to beat people up. Is that a guard playing? I kind of want to get that. Oh gosh, we need to go. Let's 
This is probably the most dangerous carnival game. How is he getting them so fast? I can't mess up. If I mess up one more time, then he wins. Wait, opponent has a flag. <laughs> like I am my I'm holding my breath. My heart is pounding and my hands are so sweaty. Oh, dang. We did it! We won the game. Oh my gosh, like my hands are so sweaty right now. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear, an inch ever closer to victory! <laughs> Whew! 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get the Codex page, and then I'm going to do the Assassin's Tomb. I'm going to get those both out the way, so I don't have to worry about them later. Alright, stop! And now, just to do the last Assassin's Tomb. And there's a viewpoint up there. So I'll probably do the viewpoint first and then uh, the Assassin's Tomb. Here we go. The last assassin's tomb. something moving over there in that haystack sit back down we're in the middle of playing a tarot game no, no, no. this time i saw something i know it that's what you say every time <laughs> <laughs> you were right there was something in the haystack you feminucha i'm tired of your jokes this isn't funny i couldn't be killed by that you don't take our work seriously one misstep Uh, looks like we're gonna have to have a chase. Yep. He's not going to get throw back. Leave me alone. Run faster. Leave me alone. I'm s what? I got stuck. Have to find a way out before it kills me. Go! 
Go south! Like you were dogs! He sh he's shimmying. He's shimmying. Shimmy maneuver. Sure, we pick up our weapon. Oh gosh. Do we? Please tell me we can grab our sword. No, I don't want this one. I want my sword. Please tell me I can pick up my weapon. Okay. Ooh, I was gonna get really upset because that cost me a lot of money. <laughs> and of course we gotta do more puzzles. Better timed, might I say, or might be. Oh, my goodness. Almost there. Whew. Just barely. <sighs> Guys, this is the most stressful team I've been in. The most stressful. I almost broke my controller because of this tomb and I really don't want to break my controller because then I don't have another one to play with and then I would be able to play the rest of this game but now it's over with we finally have the room and about to have the key I feel like, like, since it's the last one, they can give me more than 500. <laughs> After making it that stressful. <laughs> Is that all? Okay. Looks like it's up. And now, for the last tomb key for Altair's armor.
We finally have all six keys. Okay, then all that's left for us to do is to do all the viewpoints. Um, oh, and then get that codex page and see if there's any more codex pages that are being shown after I get all the viewpoints. And then, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen after. So let's start the main mission. yourselves with a game of speed and endurance no <laughs> many challenges lie in your path the game is simple but finishing it near impossible no what's near Start impossible is that two miles on the first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mass Go. Oh, okay. At least we have the epic music. We wasted a lot of time. We're making a lot better pro uh, time than we were before. Yay! We did it. We won the race. We won all three games. Now we get the golden mask. The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. Join the fight! Benvenute Lottatori! The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. <laughs> will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden <laughs> Like seriously, mask? why would they say 
like you in English and then two for you in Italian. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Whatever. And it's funny that I actually know a lot of these words because I've studied how to uh, speak Italian. Okay, you know what? No more defense. This one thinks himself some kind of campione. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. Uh-oh. We're about to embarrass this man. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. In the ring. Do we have a winner? Ah, we have combatants. Uh oh. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Oh. Stop dodging. The fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <coughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. Uh, what? That is very unfair. <laughs> he got beat up though. <laughs> like, there was no mercy given to him. So now what do we do? I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotten Kolo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. All that hard work. 
what a lovely smile. Ciao, oh, that... boys. Help us out. Oh, it's been hang such a slow day. Come. Andiamo. Jose, could you help me fix my dress? Oh, I'll Does let you know how to treat a lady. Thing? Ooh, what a big, strong ah. axle. Those muscles. Yeah, we did it. We got the mask. I didn't read what was on the bottom. Something about something stopped following me. Whatever. Now let's go crash this party. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Okay. I think I just messed up. Oh, no, I did what I was supposed to do. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Merda. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. I'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. All right, lady, like if you say. You think, sister? I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. Awesome. What? Okay. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Beautifully done. Che spettacolo. Che spettacolo. A true hero. You must be exhausted. 
Come, relax. Oh. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, here comes somebody. Ezio, Ezio. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. <laughs> there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico. Soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Babarigo for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. I've never spoke show the mer All right. We're going to get this. Yes. Our health bar is going to go across the entire screen. Oops. I have me buying armor for myself so I don't die so easily increases the value of Montalagione, like they know that I'm buying armor. Please! Help! Oh no! Please! Help! You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stugs! Attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Honor and dignity for a bit of 
About goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I am Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! About time! Stop! Let's see what you can do! He's fighting the poor room. All right, this way. Yeah, we should Sorry. go. <laughs> what fun this will be! Agreed. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Don't, Don't overextend yourself. Silvio has set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah! a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. Let's Why save you. Why don't get interesting? What have I done? <laughs> oh. I did it. Mercy. Well, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Getting better at fighting. I'm not super good, but got a lot better. The mess they've made. Bianca. I hope she is unharmed. Bianca. Bianca. Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place! And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her... Aha! Oh, <laughs> my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. <laughs> He's a crazy Sean. guy. <laughs> so, I know your name. But not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, if I ever get a long sword like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it Bianca. But it's going to require more than just the two, three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good conscience, leave them behind. In Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. I like that guy. <laughs> like, he's just, like, perfectly dressed and looks the part to be just that character. I don't know if that made sense, but it made sense in my head, and that's all that matters. But we're gonna do this, uh... B point real quick. Ah, what 
to do with this lot? Flood the cage, I say. Drown them all and be done with it. Silvio wants them alive. Thinks he can turn them to our cars. I wouldn't count on him. They're as loyal as they are stupid. Do we fight him? That could be him. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Of course. Follow my lead. Um... Hang on. Y'all wait right here while I get this viewpoint. Beautiful. The Yay. Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now, Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Esatto. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Let's do it. Um, almost perfect. But before we do that, we're going to get this viewpoint. Big guys out the way. Got every one of them out the way. That was easy. <laughs> here for my signal, as you wish, on me. Oh, there goes my gun. Ah. 
Your ground here. Consider it done. Follow my lead. <laughs> That's because it was done. It was that easy. You just had to stand there. Still that elixir of lead and cover. I got you. Here, this is where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. Woo, yeah. Uh. Ah, there you are. Is it done? Yes, all your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district. Fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. <laughs> what if we just, like, decline it? <laughs> Salute Ezio! Care for some company? By all means! Oh, now we can fight him. Why couldn't we fight him before? Enough! 
enough of this. We're out of time. Return to me. We must depart. Ezio, go now. That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. Hurry! They're going to leave without us! Get up. Yes, come and fight. Back on your feet for more. Get up, get up, get up, get up. the boats. I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio. Silvio is defeated, and the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace tranquillita. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. Ooh, wow. 8,000 gold, or florins. Which I think horns is gold. Or made out of gold. If you didn't know that, which I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you information that I have no idea about. See how long we've been recording. Two hours, holy cow. I know a lot of it's like stuff I can cut out. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? A cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. That means he's 27, isn't he? So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. Well, I was gonna end this uh, video off here, but I guess we're gonna talk to Leonardo first. I don't know why I never saw it before, but when put together, 
I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here, the prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. <laughs> prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia? When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Mm. Ooh, I gotta kill you. Well, um, I think that'll do it for about any other options. I think that'll do it for this episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, next time on Assassin's Creed 2, we're going to get on a boat on tomorrow. And I will try to do more codex pages and viewpoints off camera. So I will see you then.